So welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Serge. I'm one of the steering committee members and I've got Wee Han here today who's also a steering committee member for Gecko. And today we'll be taking you through um, how do you use the team registration page at Gecko um, to get your team members registered. So the first thing to do is you need to log in onto RedCap. And a lot of you will have received your logins. And once you have logged in, you would come up to this interface. And you need to click onto the tab which says My Projects. And for all of you, you will be able to see Gecko Team Registration. And you would need to click Gecko Team Registration. And then you will come up to this interface. Now this interface allows you to see all the different projects, all the different records, and you might, you may or may not see some of these applications in your, on your page. What you should do is you, you should go to record status dashboard. Once you clicked on record status dashboard, you will see only your record ID that corresponds to your hospital. Now, we had an I can see all this because um, we are the steering committee, so we have access to everyone's um, record IDs. <clears throat> so say, for instance, um, you have your record ID that is labeled AE1385 that is specific to you. Everyone will be different, so don't get worried. You should click on the mini team application portal. Now, once you come up to the mini team application portal, you should select your hospital that it should be uh, that, that you're registered in. So for instance, just say, for example, um, I, I just say I'm in Birmingham. So I would uh, type in Birmingham and I type in Queen Elizabeth Hospital. You would then be taken to the next step of study approval. Now you then have these three items for you to select. Um, we are hoping that most of you will be in the second or third option. Now, if you are still in the process of getting your ethical approval, you can still start the process. You do not need to wait, which is what we advise. However, we have put a clause here that you should have your approvals before uploading data formally onto RedCap. So you need to click that yes to say that you will have your logins in uh, your ethic approval in place before uploading data. So then you as a hospital lead would need to fill up your name and details. And then you can click how many periods you would like to contribute. Ideally, we want you to contribute to every single period, um, but obviously it depends on team constraints, et cetera. So when you click a certain number of periods, a pop-up will appear for you to confirm how many team members you'd like. And it's also important that you fill up a named independent data validator so that they can go back and check the data. I'll stop there. Um, and I'll, and I'll, and we have this acting as hospital lead today. So he, he will sort of ask if there's any questions. We have, we can't hear you. Sorry, um, so when will the team members get their red cap logins? Uh, so they will get their red cap logins up to a week or two before the data collection period starts. So say for instance, you have registered for period one and you have selected five uh, collaborators, all these five will receive the uh, logins a week or two before the study starts. Thank you. And um, so after like receiving the red, red cap login details, I just need to register. Is that is that right? And fill up this form. Yes, absolutely. Um, so you need so, to... Yep. So when where do I? And you also mentioned something about the site survey form. Where where can I access that? Yes, absolutely. So once you've completed every single uh pay um ticked all the relevant periods, so you can tick as many periods as you like. So if you tick as many periods, there will be a long list of form for you to fill up to include as many team members. Once you've done that, you can click complete or incomplete as, as you see fit. It doesn't really matter, but the keys fill up all the details. And importantly, the ORCID ID. And in terms of the site survey, this is also very important. So when you go back up to the top of this page, you will see a section called site survey. You will need to click that. And of course, in your case, you will need to save changes, but for the purpose of this being an example tutorial, I'm just going to leave without saving changes. 
So this hospital level survey is very important. It provides a key breakdown as to different questions that you need to fill up. And this is related to your hospital. So as a hospital lead, you will need to fill up what the hospital level services are, cholecystectomy services, diagnostic imaging, training in cholecystectomy, green surgery for cholecystectomy. These are all key important fields that you need to fill up. And if you are the hospital lead, you will need to be able to answer all the relevant questions as, as best to your ability as you can. Yep, thank you. So um, I've also been seeing like if, do, do I need, is this like site survey mandatory or do I don't have to do it? Um, no, so every single um, hospital lead will have to fill up this, the site survey. It's really important because we will be using this data to match the outcomes of patients that you've included into your cohort study. And it's really important because we will aim to use this for publications. And if there's any incomplete site surveys, it may risk eligibility of your site uh, for a future publication. Yep, I think that's about it for questions from me. Okay, thanks, Lihan. So I hope this tutorial has been very useful for everyone. Um, like I say, just to, to recap, you need to go back to my projects, click on Gecko team registration, go on to record stage this dashboard, and you'll see a record ID. And please ensure that you complete your mini team application portal and your site survey. Um, so thank you everyone today. If there's any questions, feel free to drop us a line.